I just wanted to know, like, out of all of the Adidas kicks that you've played in so far, what's, what's been your favorite to hoop in? Um, I'm a crazy eight guy, so I love the crazy eights. I also love the top tens. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to say the crazy eights. They're the most comfortable for me. A lot of people say they're heavy, but... I guess I like heavy shoes. I, lo I love those shoes. There's been a couple of um, custom Adidas kicks that a cu custom design is designed for you. You hooped in the Adidas Real Deal, a custom version of it. What were your thoughts on that shoe? Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a colorway guy. I like different colorways. I like them to go with my unis. Sometimes I don't want them to go with my unis. I just want them to stand out. But I like the, my, my whole thing behind it is when I go to get a custom, I like to, you know, during the game, look down at my shoes and say my shoes are cooler than the next guys. You know what I mean? Help give me confidence during the game. Like, if you see somebody when you're growing up walk onto the court with a new pair of shoes, you be like, you know, I'll, I'll pick him before the dude with the raggedy shoes. You know what I mean? So it's always been a sneaker thing with me ever since I was little. Maybe he saved up a little money and found a connect. He actually made up this whole story about he how he had a friend who had a store who had a connect. Mm -hmm. And I go upstairs and I'm like, hey, where am I at? And I look and I'm looking on the shelves and I don't see him. But I have so many sneakers. I'm thinking, oh, I must have put them somewhere else. Why do I feel rappers' sneakers come and go? I think because they're fans of the consumer. You know, when your fans are the consumer, when your record is hot, they're going to buy it. When your record is not hot, they're not going to buy it. 